What's going on, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel fans? It's your boy Cal Life here, bringing you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. And today we are going to be playing some salads. Yes, we are getting healthy and we are playing some pure salads. Now, um, what are we doing with this deck so far? So what I decided to do is I know a lot of people like to go for the OTK uh, process with the uh, access code and the uh, decode. I mean, the access code, transcode and the uh, update jammer, right? But because there's some times where you just can't go ahead and get those plays off, I actually decided to go ahead and cite in the IP Maskiana along with the Mech Knight Crusader Avermax. And gosh, this card and those cards go wonderful, especially if you're going against uh, Sky Strikers. So, for instance, you know, if you go to get rid of Ray, Ray summons itself out and it can go ahead and eat immediately stop you by summoning out Kina. So, therefore, you can't go ahead and OTK with Access Cold, right? Well, this is where Avermax max comes in as that won't happen and you are just able to not be beat over unless they kaiju you so that's the only thing you have to worry about um but for the most part this deck is super consistent we are playing mo mo is a really good card when it comes into this deck because basically if i just go ahead and summon out a um settlement and great link monster i could just in this card is in my hand from the main phase i can just summon this and then bam i have another card on the field um another extender is the gazelle and then we do have spinny as another extender jack jaguar while it's in the graveyard is an extender and then finally we have the falco just in case we toss a card a trap card into the graveyard and bam we could actually put our roar or our rage onto the field um and that's super good i i think it goes onto the field or it goes back to your hand uh yeah you could set it so super good and so in my deck build i'm actually playing three copies of roar instead of one copy i think three copies of roar is good I was originally playing two Imperms, so I ended up dropping it because I was running into an Avermax problem myself. So therefore, I actually ended up putting two Droplets instead because Droplets actually are able to go ahead and affect over the Avermax since it's not a target. It's just a choose effect, right? But anyways, this is what we're playing. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. I'm signing out. Peace. Enjoy. Also, before I go, I just want to go ahead and say, if you do like the channel, guys, please do not forget to go ahead and like and subscribe. It does help me grow, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you all. We're about to hit 2.1K, so I really do appreciate it. But thank you all for supporting. All right. <clears throat> so we are going to be going second. Now, uh, let's see what we can do. We do open up a Gazelle and a Jaguar. Uh, not too good of a going second hand to be honest uh it looks like they do play pot of desires i wonder could this be a kaiju deck so all right so they end up ending a turn uh and our the to be honest i believe they ended it because they probably think we're playing something that's like just crazy um so anyways let's go and activate circle this way I can have like a card to discard, which would be pretty nice. Now here, I probably want to add, I'm trying to think we could add mirror mirror with special summon itself. Um, or we could add, we could add another Jaguar Jaguar would put itself in the graveyard. We could add a spinny spinny would also put itself in the graveyard. Yeah, let's let's go and add spinny and then from there uh let's use sign it mining because now we can throw spinny into the grave and then from our spinny we could grab ourselves a buffalo buffalo will allow me to set up a combo with the because with the jack jaguar because once we link into this right we'll be fine so let's see what they do so now we can link into balanix from the bail we can activate that first and then we can activate the flame bluff buffalo oh they have what is this ghost winter cherries okay so they're trying to go ahead and end our our extra deck. That's what they're trying to do. So we could just go ahead and get rid of the cherries. 
because basically what they can do they can reveal a card in the extra deck and then they can start banishing it so luckily we do have the call by the grave because cross out designator was not helping us there let's be honest bro but anyways buffalo activates let's get rid of our jack jaguar look at that and we drew into a maxi and a circle and now because that went to the grave we can actually summon out our gazelle so we do have a follow-up play and then with the gazelle what i'm actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and toss out our roar yeah let's let's toss out roar and let's go into sanctuary from here uh we could go into sunlight right sunlight will allow me to do some plays so this is going to allow us to grab our trap i wonder if they have an imperm okay so they do have this uh now we could we could max see him yeah let's just go ahead and maxi uh this way we get a potential draw anyways basically what this does we have um one link monster so they get to draw one card and then they get to recycle it back into the deck so let's see And on top of that, we should be able to get a card too. Oh, look at that. We get into an Ash. Ash is very good. And then from here, let's just go and activate uh, Sanctuary once again. Let's go into our Sunlight Wolf. This way we can go ahead and get our trap. And the reason I'm doing this is because I honestly think that they have a way of stopping us. So I didn't want to go into like another uh like an access code type of play yet so but i guess we'll find out let's put our sunlight into the uh extra deck again that way we can summon out jack jaguar now we could activate this uh but then we would be locked into fire right i'm still a little worried about what they have but you know what maybe just maybe i won't do it hmm uh you can add one fire monster from your graveyard to your hand but for the rest of the turn you cannot normal summon with the added monster okay so we actually don't get locked in yeah we don't get locked in okay now we're fine I don't know why I always get Sunlight Wolf and the other card uh, mixed up, bro. <laughs> Every time. Every time. All right. Anyways, let's use Spinny. Summon out the Spinny. And then we do have another effect with him, right? If you control, you can add one from your graveyard to your hand so if you use sunlight wolf add a card we can add our salam in the great circle from here we could go into the power of update jammer and then from update jammer we could go into a deco talker Uh, let's see when your opponent activates a card effect that targets a monster okay so it it targets a monster it targets okay so it's, it's got to be a card that they control right so yeah we can we can still do it i just had to make sure <laughs> had to make sure all right, we got 60 seconds. We got to we got to get this show on the road. All right, so from here, let's 
go into our decode. I mean, our transcode. And the reason we're doing this is that way we can get enough damage with our access code talker to where we can just go ahead and try to one shot. That's what I'm hoping for at this point is that we do have enough. So let's summon out the update jammer. And then from update, now we go in access. So there goes the access code. And then we activate chain link one update jammer and then chain link two access code. This way uh, they can't respond because when you do this, you cannot respond with the access. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and banish out the update. That goes bye bye. And now we can just go for an attack. All right, so if they do have an imperm, we could cross out designate it. Yep, there we go. So now we can hit cross out designator and they probably end up scooping here. Yep, there we go. G G's. I knew they had an imperm, bro. Something was telling me <laughs> that they had an imperm, but you know, we just have the out. So let's get into the next one. All right, so for this part, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut over to the last turn of the duel because if I don't cut it over, it's a 50 minute video, right? So I wanted to keep that shorter. So I'm just gonna pick it up from there. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. So they can only do a total of 1500 to us. So unless they somehow burn damage us, which they're not going to, this should be GG's. We should be able to easily win here. Rose goes to the graveyard. Uh, we do got to worry about Kaina though. Kaina, Kaina will stop us from attacking. Okay, we get another lady debug. Um, can activate Foxy again. Wait, do we not have a Bayonex in the grave? We did have Bayonex. I wonder why it didn't protect. That was a little weird. Okay, whatever. Uh. Trying to think, trying to think. So from here, we could go into Jack Jaguar. From the Jack Jaguar, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's summon out Lady Debug. And then we can add ourselves the, the mirror. Mirror will summon itself. And then from here, we could go into, we can't use heat. So we can, however, go into ourselves a splash mage, maybe, maybe splash. Huh? Yeah, let's go splash mage. So these two go bye bye. Splash Maze comes to the field, and Sun and Light can now activate, and Gazelle can activate. So as long as we get enough cards on the field, uh, we should be fine. So we get to return a card to our hand. Let's return this. Activate Gazelle. And then from the Gazelle, let's send ourselves. Uh, let's send, I think Falco. Yeah, let's send Falco. Falco is going to allow us to grab our trap card, which is going to be Roar, which we can now set. Uh, let's activate Splash Mage now. Summoning out the Foxy. From here, we could go into an Avermax. 
Well, or we could go access. We could do, actually do both if we so choose chosen. Yeah, so let's go into first access code. So let's use let's use this. And let's use this one. The so transcode talker first. Activate transcode. And we can go ahead and summon out a monster. Let's go summon out the Maskiena. From the Maskiena, we could go into into the access. No, we could go into actually. Yeah, let's do this. Use transcode. Go into Crusadia. And then from here. Let's use Salomon Great Foxy. Discard a card to the graveyard. And then let's go ahead and destroy a card. Because we knew he used all of his cards, right? So we know we're good to go. Go into these two. Update Jammer. From the Update Jammer, we could go into an access. Use this two. Use this two. So now we have a card he cannot target and we have a pretty stacked monster. So he's in a in a whole bunch of trouble. I'm gonna be honest. Honestly, it's not the strongest though of a uh, access code, but you know, it should work. Okay. So that does suck, but it is what it is. Uh, let's just go ahead and attack here. And we still are able to attack twice. So he should summon out Ray. And then let's attack this. Now we are untargetable, so he shouldn't be able to target us with um, his card. So what does he go into here? I'm going to assume he goes into Kaino, right? Oh, he's going to go into Shizuku. Well, if that's the case, then we just go ahead and attack, activate this. We only have 24 seconds left. And and then, uh, yeah, we just end our turn. So I really don't know what else he can do here. Let's just go activate our max C. The Suzuku play was was smart, but like at the end of the day, just GG's, man. <laughs> GG's. Let's get into the next one. All right, so this is going to be our last match of the day, and we are going second. Uh, let's see. This is most likely going to be Sky Strikers, right? Because they are playing Rota. Yeah, it is going to be Sky Strikers. Um, I wonder what we can do here. They're going to go immediately into Shizuku. Shizuku is going to activate its effect, which is going to allow them... So with that happening, I think I'm just going to go in and pop this. Let's use our ogre here now. That way they, they lose Shizuku. Now they're going to be forced to go into another, another Ray instead of next turn, which means uh, we can force it out of them. 
and then we can stop them from doing anything so we avoid imperms and everything else Ooh, harpy's feather duster if only they play some cards face down <laughs> cross out designator is about to be super clutch as we're just gonna go ahead and activate that now goodbye maxi we are not playing around with you i don't think so i don't think so so say goodbye to that card and we do have foul in our hand uh foul is not the best card to have kind of wish we had a gazelle let's see they probably have an ash oh no no ash okay so i guess what we wish is what we get <laughs> so here comes our gazelle and then from here let's go into ban x from the ban x we can activate this and we can actually activate foul foul summons itself to the field because a ban because a salomon great monster was summoned so let's go and put this here and then get, there goes our sanctuary <coughs> and now that we have a link monster roar can kind of go crazy for us next turn right so from here what i'm thinking is that we can go into probably sunlight from sunlight we can because we won't have OTK here. No matter what, we cannot OTK, which is unfortunate. So, yeah, let's go sunlight. We do got to make sure we avoid Nibiru, too, by the way. But if we do get Nibiru, then it is what it is. <clears throat> and so here comes a gazelle. Put gazelle here activate gazelle's ability which is going to allow us to toss out a card to the graveyard so let's toss out the jaguar and then we could go into another jaguar using sanctuary i really wish that sanctuary had a better secondary effect than what it has but i mean is what it is and then finally Activate Jaguar's effect. Let's put this back into the deck. And then we can use Roar as well. And we can add a card to our hand. And finally, we could go into Maskiena. But before we go into Maskiena, let's just go into attack. This way we can uh, bait out the, the Ray. So that's, they, they're probably gonna end up summoning, yeah, Kaina. So Kaina does stop one attack. Not not sure why he did that oh because he had a rose in his hand <laughs> okay that makes sense that makes sense we still want to attack yes um what do we do here what do we do here Destroy that card. So from here, <clears throat> trying to think, right? We could go splash mage. Splash mage will summon out. I think we just go mask. Yeah, we just go into Maskiana. 
yeah i think that's probably the best play that we should do here and let's go ahead and put this roar face down so now we do have maskiana we have we also have a counter which is roar and so we should be able to counter anything that they act activate there goes hayate okay bayonex is going to activate which i'm not mad about it does suck that we lose our protection but maybe just maybe they go into something else there we go that's what i wanted to uh stop regardless So that gets destroyed. Now we can use Maskiana. Unless he has a way of stopping this. If he does, I'm going to be so upset. Okay, it does not. So here we go. We can go into Abermax now. And I think we just win. Because I'm going to be honest. I don't know how they get past Abermax. I really don't think they have any option of getting past this. And then on top of that, we still have Harpy's Feather Duster. So any cards that they play face down, regardless, I'm just going to go ahead and destroy. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to wipe out all those cards. Okay. They're going to get rid of airspace. I wonder why they chose the airspace. That's interesting. Okay. Here comes Kagari. All right, there we go. They got the mobilize again. Engage can activate. I really hope they don't play Kaijus. If they play Kaijus, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> we will be kind of screwed. Okay. That right there, though, it has to target us. So as long as it doesn't target, we're fine. One card face down. That's obviously going to be Widow Acre. I, I kind of hope they put every card face down, to be honest. You we have basically an unkillable card. It's untargetable. There goes Shizuku. All right, so they are going to be able to add a card to the hand. Oh, multi row. Okay. So multi row. Okay, Ghost Ogre. Now, uh, we could probably Harpy's Feather Duster here. Yeah, let's do that. Maxi. <clears throat> all right so goodbye to those we are getting weaker uh this is allow them to summon out their their ray most likely is what they're gonna go into yeah that's what i thought okay so from here we're just gonna go into foxy and then uh we can just go ahead and attack so let's get rid of this So that card goes bye bye and because they can't even they can't even target us so and we can just go ahead and attack one of these other ones and on top of that it wouldn't even make any sense to go into anything else here so we're just going to end our turn so foul was kind of Kind of doing some work, man. 
They go Shizuku. Now, what's great about this is we could just get rid of that card real quick. Because he already activated uh, Raid's ability. So, yeah, you can add a card, but <laughs> now you got no Sky Striker monsters on the field. Zero. Zero of them is on the field. So, you can go ahead and add a card. You could add your last. Oh, I guess you got Hornet Drones. Hornet Drones isn't really going to get past the the Abramax, though. So, especially when we can increase our life. I mean, our attack points. This is kind of annoying for him. So even though we weren't able to like go for OTK plays and the reason I didn't is kind because of, I know they have kind of kind of would stop us from attacking. Okay. What are they tossing out? I wonder if they're trying to make us weak enough to where their last Shizuku can. Oh, no, they got all the Shizukus are gone. Yeah, they kind of screwed here. They are actually screwed here. Let's see. They did not have a Sky Striker card to activate. No spell. If they can't, then they can't add a card off of the multi row. And it, <laughs> if that's the case, then what was the play point of? Oh, you know what? Actually, they, they did play multi row first, and then they were able to go into Hornet Drones. So that's what it was. That's the play they were making. I honestly almost forgot about that. Yeah. So now let's see. What did they add? Probably Widow. Yeah, Widow. Not upset about that. Is what it is. Oh, we do have Mo. Um. We could activate this. Yeah, let's do that. So let's send could send sanctuary now nah, let's just send mo now they can't activate this card they're gonna they're gonna be forced to but we have what, what do we have we have enough yeah we have enough so mo can activate its ability and we can get two off of it so widow acre is forced to activate here which means next turn it does get banished Oh, do we not have enough cards? Let's see. I'm going to assume no, right? Oh, because we control monsters. That's what it is. I goofed. I actually end up goofing. <laughs> All right. Well, let's activate Abramax. Get that increase. And at this point, the only thing that they can draw is going to have to be a Kaiju card because there's nothing else they can do here. Uh, and so I'm hoping that they don't they don't get another Kaiju. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping they don't get a Kaiju. That way we can. Uh, we can actually, um, you know, just win. <laughs> can you get my card back, by the way, please? I'm still over here waiting for my card. <laughs> I'm just waiting and waiting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I guess we could put this here. This way uh, they can't use any of my link and my, mon my monsters for like some link purposes. We have no clue what they're playing in their extra deck. Okay, I don't even know what that card is. What is this? Target one level four Sky Striker Ace Monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. I'll start Goblin. All right, I think they're they are really searching. They are really searching for this card, bro. All right, so they get a rose, so they can go into a link two. 
Link 2 card. They go Zeke. Now I'm pretty sure Zeke targets, right? Yeah. So that gets banished. Uh, they're going to go into Selene. No, Selene needs Spellcaster. Oh, they're going to go into this. Ooh, so they, they are looking to counter our deck, bro. Level two. I wonder if they also play Avermax. If they do, that would be their out. Okay, no, Selene. Yo, 13 cards. Whoo, that is kind of beefy with uh with some stacks of spell counters, bro. Get rid of this, okay. So they don't want us to respond. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna say, what do you guys have? <laughs> what else could you do? GG's man. <laughs> GG's. <laughs>